Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at protecting your email account from being hacked. So recently there's been a lot of talk about email accounts being hacked. I'm talking specifically about accounts like Hotmail, Yahoo, and Gmail, the online web-based email accounts that you can also access through mail clients like the Apple Mail app. Now there's certain specific ways that hackers get access to your accounts. Let's look at them and how you can protect yourself against those attacks. Now one way they do it is through social engineering. So this means not any specific technical hack, but simply trying to trick the user into giving up their password, sometimes without even the user knowing. For instance, you may get an email asking for your password or that you need to reset your password, please click here. Then you click there and it goes to a page that looks just like perhaps your Hotmail login. You use that to change your password. Now it doesn't work and you don't think much of it, but what you've done is basically given your password to a hacker because you weren't actually at the Hotmail account, you were at a page that looked like it and you gave them your password. So if you were ever asked for your password, asked to enter your password, or asked to change your password, and you get that in an email or you see it on a website, don't do it. Instead, go to a completely new browser window, then type in the name of your email service, like say hotmail.com or gmail.com, and go to it yourself or use your bookmark to it. Don't click on the link that's provided on the page or in the email. And then if there actually is something you need to do, you'll probably see a message there telling you. If you don't, then you can be sure that that was probably an attempt at getting your password. Also look carefully at these links if you're interested and you'll notice that they might go to a site that looks like a Hotmail account or a Gmail account, but the spelling maybe is a little different or the URL somehow isn't quite right. That's a tip off right there. The tricky part is sometimes you don't even know you've given up your password. If you're asked to say confirm your password or something and you do it, nothing might happen immediately. Maybe months later that your actual account is used to send out spam. So another way that people can get into your email account is by simply guessing your password. Now even if you think you have a tough password to break, if it's a regular English word or an English word with a number after it or even a date in any format, then it's very easy for them to break into your account. All they have to do is basically check millions of different email addresses with millions of different popular passwords and they're going to get into hundreds if not thousands per day. So you need to have a random string of letters and numbers as your password. So if you want more information about how to make sure your passwords are secure, check out macmost.com slash online dash password dash security dot html. Now a third way that somebody can get into your email account is simply by hacking it using a virus on your computer. Now this isn't really a problem for Mac users. The key logging viruses and all that are all on the Windows side. But keep in mind if you do use both Mac and Windows computers or if you ever access your email account on a Windows computer, I would never access an email account using a public computer set up say an internet cafe or a university or anything. You don't know what's installed on there. I would only access your email account and log in using computers you know are secure. So there's been a lot of talk recently about people getting their Gmail accounts broken into. And here's how you can check to see if yours has been affected. You go into your Gmail account and you look all the way down here for details. Click on details and you go to this page that actually shows all of your recent logins. Now you should recognize your IP address. Matter of fact, at the bottom it'll show you what your current IP address is and then you can see if anybody's been using your Gmail account without you knowing it. So I wouldn't be surprised if this current round of attacks on Gmail accounts turns out to be just hackers using dictionary attacks. I don't see why they should go to the trouble of trying to hack into Google servers when they can simply guess passwords. So I hope you found this useful. Please make sure that your online email passwords are strong and take this opportunity to change them now. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.